हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ डेवलपर्स एंड कोडर्स क्लब एन आई टी अगरतला दिस इज इंजनी रॉय फ्रॉम सी एस सी सेकेंड ईयर एंड टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम कट रिबन फ्रॉम ए टू ओ जे डिविजन टू ए सो लेट्स मूव टू द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट द प्रॉब्लम स्टेट्स दैट पॉली कार्पस हैज अ रिबन इट्स लेंथ दिस एंड ही वॉन्ट्स टू कट द रिबन इन अ वे दैट फुलफिल्स द फॉलोइंग टू कंडीशन आफ्टर कटिंग ईच रिबन पीस शुड हैव अ लेंथ ए बी और सी and the number of ribbon pieces should be maximum and we have to find out the ribbon pieces after cutting so we will be given the values of n a b and c and we have to find out the total possible number of ribbon pieces so let's move to the logic of the question so according to the question uh, the values of n a b and c will be given so n is the total length of the ribbon right so whatever may be the pieces the total length cannot exceed n so the required lengths of the pieces are a b and c the frequency we don't know so let us take three variables as x y and z x y and z and these be the, these be the respective number of pieces of lengths a b and c which means there are x pieces of length a y pieces of length b and z pieces of length c so the total length will be n that is the sum that is x a plus y b plus z c will be equal to n we can write it now from this equation if we iterate the values of x and y then we can find out the value of z c right because the value of a b c and n are given so the value of z c will be clearly n minus Uh, n minus x a plus y b, and we can iterate the values of x and y to find out the value of z. Uh, then z will be then equal to z c z uh, z c by c. Here it will be z c by c. So finally, to find out the maximum number of pieces, we just have to find the maximum of this x plus y plus z, right? Total number of pieces. Fine. So how do we start? Like first of all, we will take three variables x, y, and z, and uh, we can take another variable. You can take any variable and declare it as zero, and then we can iterate the values of x and y, and then find out the value of z for the required conditions, and then simply find out. Uh, for example, if we are taking suppose let's take a uh, let's take the first test case that is five, five, three, and two. So five is n. Which means the total length cannot exceed five, and the values of a, b, c are five, three, and two. So the maximum. So what can we write in? If we put in the first equation, we can write here as x into five plus y into three plus z into two equals to five. Right? We can write. Now from this equation, it is clear that we can clearly see the value of x cannot be more than zero in this case. Why? Because if we take any positive integer value of x then x will be x into 5 suppose the least value could be 1 right so 1 into 5 5 which is already equal to n so then y and z must be 0 but then that is not the maximum case that will be only one piece available right so x can't be 1 in this case so x has to be 0 in this case so that we can at least have two pieces each of each of y and z so what will be clearly y will be 1 and z will be 1 here Then y into three plus z into two will be equal to one into two plus one into three. That is zero plus one plus one. That is two. Clear. So that is five. So the number of pieces will be zero plus one plus one equals to two. So we will have the answer output as two. C. We have here two, right? So in this way, for the second also, we can iterate the values of x and y to find out z, and then we can take out the maximum, maximum of the three. so let's go to the code of the question so we will declare the values a a b c n x y z and two more variables as z c and answer uh then as long as the loop runs means as long as we are getting the inputs answer equals to 0 because the count will be starting from 0 then we will iterate for x using a for loop where the condition will be x equal to 0 x into a will be less than equal to n clearly it cannot exceed n similarly for y another for loop here the total count will be taken it cannot be 
um, it cannot be more than n now zc will be equal to the remaining that is your n minus x into a plus y into b clear now if zc modulus c is equal equal to 0 means if it is divisible in that case z we can find out the value of z by simply dividing zc by c because we know the value of c and zc we will get from here right and then we have to find out the answer by simply taking maximum that is max of answer and x y and z and then simply see out answer to get the value so very simple let us check the second test case also we have 7 5 5 and 2 so clearly if we take 5 and 2 it, we can either take we can either take 5 or 2 anything uh, for like a b and c any of these can be taken either b and c or a and c we can take 5 plus 2 7 clearly so again 2 will be there we cannot take a and b together simple so again the answer will be 2 you can check for any other test cases also like that so that's it for this question let's see the solution see my answer is accepted i hope it's clear that's it for this question thank you